Hello everyone. Um, this is going to be. I'm going to make something new called like these like mini source code thingies where I'm not really going to teach you anything. I'm just going to quickly demo something and just give you the source code and you guys can have at it. Um, source code is going to be like simple, so it doesn't really not much for me to, to explain or anything. Um, today I'm like one day. Uh, recently I was playing with uh, uh, some algorithms, and I like curve algorithms. They're kind of fun to play with because you can do some weird fun stuff with it. And this one, I, f I can't pronounce the, the algorithm name. Um, let's see. It's called the Lemon, uh, Lemniscat Bernoulli. I don't know. I can't say it. There's, there's another one, uh, too, but this one is not as fun as this one. This one, uh, basically, these this algorithm <laughs> name is a figure eight. And the other one also a figure eight, but it's a little more twisted. Um so, like I said, it's just it's just a simple uh, algorithm that is uh, that has time as a parameter, and like I said, it's something fun to play with and everything else. And uh, this was a great time for me to start learning how to create derivatives. And um, I want to make sure I don't screw up his name, uh, Alexander from uh, Twitter. I was ha I was trying to f I was actually I spent the morning learning how to, to do derivatives. Um, I actually have like all my notes in this file. <laughs> um, and I just wrote I just took a picture of what I was um, calculating and just asking anyone on Twitter just to kind of proofread and make sure I'm doing it the right way and Alexander was nice enough to um, proofread and he basically gave me the a better way to go to, to approach it because he simplified the equation first and then he did the um, uh, then he created the derivative for me. So he created he he basically created the derivative of y, but by seeing how he did it, I went and knew enough to to create derivative of x on my own, which I managed to implement on my own. Um, so why is it like I said? This was a great example of time for me to learn how to make derivatives, and for someone who doesn't know what derivatives are, uh, they are. Like if you have an equation that moves things, the, uh, like something like how like these curve equations has a derivative can um, calculate give you the the rate of change. Um, in this instance, without the derivative, I can't make that cube um, look at the direction it's moving. That derivative allows me to know the rate of change, which allows me to calculate its rotation. So where I have that little worm, the worm is just a bunch of circles that are just following the path. And the cube follows the path as well, but it uses the also uses the derivative to know where to look. And that's what these lines are. So the 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 gray dots are the path that that algorithm creates and the gray lines is the derivative that me and Alexander created to um figure out where you're looking while you're moving it through this path. And, you know, I just created some, you know, some tools so we can can play with um, the size of certain things. Just for fun. No, just, just to play around with it. Um, but, yeah, that's it is it's basically going to be a code mini, uh, essentially, that, that I'm just doing. And I just wanted to show off um, that figure eight uh, equation. So... Um, source, I'll have a link to the GitHub where you can get the source code and you can go ahead and play with it and um, it'll be fun to see any fun things you create based on using that uh, curve equation and even the derivative to, um, I don't know, to make something. I might use this at some point in the future in a video, uh, in a, like a simple game or something and that could be like my path uh, for a character that's travel, just to travel in the figure eight motion. That'll be its perim parameter, uh, uh, perimeter. That's where it does. And so this way, that derivative allows me to point it in a direction um, that, it, that it's walking toward. So that's it. Uh, see you guys in the next video or quick demo.